Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a closer look to Japanese whiskey in terms of radiation. Is there... Do you have fear of Japanese whiskey? Do you think you are radiated to death if you drink Japanese whiskey? Is this extreme pricing of Japanese whiskey real? Or it's the end? The last resources are sold for high money? Mm. Well, you have to talk about the exposition to radiation. And here I have a Geiger Müller counter. It's a tube. There's a small detector in it with a tube and a wire in the middle. And between the wire and the tube, there's a voltage, a potential, electric potential. And uh, when a particle uh, crosses the tube, then there will be uh, some ions on the path of the particle and uh, the voltage will uh, spring over from the wire to <laughs> the ground or the other vice versa uh, and you hear this tick in the counter and in the movies you hear tick 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 and then you know the man will be dead soon um i had a i bought my first uh, Geiger Müller counter uh, in 85 after Chernobyl and there had been some clouds and uh, rain, contaminated rain here in southern Bavaria, um, but I never found increased radiation. Um, so let's have a look what we have in natural radiation here. So therefore I start this counter and uh, put it under the GoPro and here see the lighting. It's booting now and what it does now is it starts to count uh, particles going through um, and depending or calculating the time counts the numbers of passing particles uh, over time. And here you can see on the left hand side there are two parallel uh, signs which shows it's the first seconds the uh, counting has started then the two parallel uh, lines will add to a longer line and then it will start to uh, build a full uh, quadrat and uh, in the middle of the quadrat uh, a black uh, quadrat appears showing that there was a particle passing through uh, the tube uh, and was counted. So here now the, the line is longer showing the first 40 seconds have passed and now there was a particle passing through uh, and uh, it counts to 0 0.14. What does that mean? Well this is a counter of micro sievert. Rolf Sievert was a Swedish uh, scientist and he uh, looked into radiation biology and uh, this micro sievert there's a small u in front of the s and the v and this u has a uh, well a comma in front it's a mu it's a millionth so a thousandth of a thousandth of a sievert and uh, now you see the second line uh, going horizontally, uh, showing that 80 seconds are over and it's still counting, it will count and build averages uh, all the time. If you think that the uh, whiskey already contaminated the measurement, no, they are empty. I put the bottles aside so that I have a, quite a distance so that if radiation is in the bottle, it will disperse uh, in every direction. Um, Typically, here in Central Europe, we have uh, a natural radiation of about uh, 600 microsievert per year up to 200 
2000 microsieverts a year, so two millisieverts maximum. This is in the, well, the mountain regions where they found uh, lead and uh, silver and gold and, and whatever. And with those minerals uh, or metals, uh, they found all those uh, radiating materials as well. And those regions are radiating more than other regions. And we here lie somewhere in the middle uh, and uh, with these zero, now they, the uh, the quadrat has finished, and you see 0.11 microsievert uh, per hour, and that means you have to multiply multiply with 24 hours per day times 365 days per year, and then you come to a, a total radiation uh, of about one millisievert here. So we are quite in the middle uh, of Central Europe and it's uh, quite normal to have that here. Part of, the, of it will be natural and part of it will be artificial because there are walls, there's the air in here where some radon may be in, uh, there's the oak from the casks and the trees have accumulated with the water flow uh, from the earth, uh, accumulated some uh, radiating substances and put them into the, sta uh, into the staves. Um, and this will trigger radiation as well. So everywhere radiation is present, uh, it depends on which is normal, which is not normal, and with which we are used to and which is abnormal and too high, which will have an influence on us. So now we're down to 0.1. This is quite a minimum I had over the last year, uh, last days or weeks. And now we can start to have the first one. It's a pure malt from Nika. And I put it here close to, uh, we started at 0.1. And now we will see it will go up very steep. No, it will go up because uh, statistics show that we here have an average of 0.14 to 0.18, which is quite normal here in the cellar. Uh, but the sun is <laughs> going down in the moment, so the radiation from the sun isn't that high as it was over the over the day. Uh, oh, yeah, there's not, not much more here from the. Uh, whiskey. If there had been some contaminated water or contaminated barley uh, in that whiskey, then we would have seen really uh, a measurement. So I had a look with my old uh, counter uh, up close after Chernobyl. There had been lots of children in the surroundings and uh, so I looked at every uh, food they got and everybody came to me have a look at the uh, and the radiation is the radiation what's with the milk we bought a sterilized milk in a hundred liters we bought for the children um, but afterwards every milk was really okay because everybody looked after and if there was uh, a too high uh, amount of radiation coming from the milk then the milk was dumped no, it wasn't dumped. It was mixed with other milk until the level went down. Yeah, so there was a scandal and, and then they, they shipped the radiation milk to Egypt. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's economy. Uh, yeah, so not much here. Uh, and then we have the second one. This is also a no age statement whiskey, the Suntory. Hibiki, and it's not changing as the other one. Um, my son will travel to Japan in May, and we, he will have this uh, Geiger Müller counter with him, and we will have a look at the radiation at the distilleries. He will pass Fukushima, and he will look after uh, the radiation there. And uh, 
Well, uh, most of the fear is generated by the media and media is increasing volume, copy numbers in paper or uh, users, viewers, uh, if they are producing fear. So media has the, the effect of projecting fear into the heads of the people. So be always careful about that with what media says to you. Um, radiation is invisible for the normal person uncountable. And this uncertainty, we always had fears for ghosts in the past. We looked below the bed for the monsters. Uh, so, and this fear is triggered by the radiation and by the media knowing that. So there's no need to have fear for Japanese whiskies <laughs> for these batches, uh, but we will have of course, a look at the other whiskies we have here uh, because we have this measurement. So still at 0 0.11. Yeah. Nothing to see, nothing to measure. And one time I had an alarm from that uh, counter at 0 0.24. And this was uh, in the garden. And I think some shock wave from the sun past our house and there were a few fast uh, coming particles after each other so uh, the counter went up so the counter is not defect it's working really um, yeah thank you very much for watching stay tuned there's more to come and there will be Japanese whiskies or uh, Japanese whiskies yes as well and videos about Japanese whiskey distilleries uh, in the upcoming future. Thank you.